Greetings. Here is what's up in your love life. So far, we haven't. Well, I'm about to start showing you the cards. I just shuffled the deck. But the messages I was picking up on is that someone is determined to get your attention, to have a place in your life. They feel like they love you so much. They especially want your attention. For some, or in some cases, someone is trying to is a secret admirer, but I'm also getting the opposite, which is a hidden enemy. <coughs> or someone wants to throw something in your, um, secretly, secretly, um, discreetly, throw something, <laughs> like maybe in your yard or toward you. I'm really feeling like someone like discreetly walking, sneakily walking, and then trying to toss something, um while hiding their hands maybe i don't know what it is but let's see this is your love reading cancer tarot card messages for today thanks for tuning in beautiful soul i hope all is well with you someone is about to ask you out as well whoa or give you a gift and maybe someone like an ex karmic was trying to do the spells all right so we have to be careful of those energies as well all right, so listen up. Your first card, Gemini, is a lover. This is amazing. This is your first card today. So this is a love reading. For real, like, you have a secret admirer. There may be an age difference. This person, they want to call you. They're determined to speak with you. They are missing you, longing for you. This person, they want to be brave. Look at this. This is true, real love between two beautiful souls. This is a twin flame connection. Someone is realizing that they are your, like, the connection between both of you is genuine, real. It is a twin flame. They cannot get over how they feel. This person, they see themselves in you. They want to work with you, grow with you. Someone is in love with you. In love with you. This person, they feel like you are made for them, a match made in heaven. For real, I'm telling you, <laughs> this person, they've been hanging on. They want to see you, your complacency. But they, there's like, they don't want to let go at all. They imagine a life with you. Let's see who this person is. Who is this person that is imagining a, imagining a life with cancer? Oh my gosh. For real, this is your other half. This person that want, imagines a life with you. They want to bless you. They want to love you. Have youths with you. Heal the world with you. You are their mother. You are their divine father. This is your divine feminine. Your divine masculine. Made, much made for, 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 much made. <clears throat> right? This looks like it's saying don't miss dumb swiss this is the person that takes your heart you're like this person is weak for you okay miracle yeah like you're a dream come true for this person it's unbelievable Lo like love at first sight you are amazing <clears throat> right this is how someone is seeing you like you cannot go wrong they want to uh, and they want to get you know have real close cl connections to you where you both can spend time together learning more about each other um divinely like under the stars dwelling in each other's space okay they want this person wants to get to know you all right let's see what you're first i'm feeling the energy of distraction for some reason you see i'm feeling the energy 444 of distraction or some disturbance interruptance between you and this person, maybe family, maybe work, maybe love, maybe the common narrative of surrounding relationship in today's world. Both of you seem to be generational curse breakers. Both of you seem to be maybe left-handed or wizards or shepherds, healers, light workers, truth tellers. Both of you, you're, you are soulmates because you're of the same form, same similar light. Both of you may even like the same color, like the same food. The, ta the same taste, same soul family, you're of the same clan, you must reunite, you must mate, you must come back, you must wake up, you must come alive, you must feel the truth of who you are. Both of you are on a similar mission, that is why you're both going to be working so well together. 
it's going to take some type of a bravery which comes with self-discovery like Dorothy going on her journey to really mend this connection because there seem to be witches and warlocks in the midst of this divine union coming together but they shall not prevail you both shall overcome the, your inhibitions and confusion lack of self-discipline lack of um, self-care whatever it is that's keeping you from each other you're both to mend meld intertwine come alive again dance in the spirit of one another <clears throat> like a ritual yeah something is over all right so you may have div um, father energies that from your past like trauma both of you you are both healing these things you're learning how to receive how to let go how to give in how to know your worth claiming your abundance your rights of worth your right to live a beautiful life to be majestic divine and beautiful despite what naysayers say naysayer energy within yourself even for real i love you is the energy i love you all right so you need to hear that and accept that Ac expansion you're going to be expanding in yourself by accepting more energies coming into you you're not going to be resisting but making room to accept that this is you now this is your life you are absorbing you're living you're growing some of you planting seeds bearing fruits bearing youths no more delays no more scattered thoughts no more disarray but a truth in alignment coming together of how you both feel that is real that will seal the deal the union for you to really understand and appreciate that you are both what you've been waiting for in this lifetime it makes sense it is what you both do you're both being led guided divinely by your ancestors to do whatever you've been doing that is right that is working and this looks mainly like self-discovery connecting back to your dream spaces i feel like both of you were meant to be together the lies and illusions and confusion surrounding you that are that which are keeping you separate but the more you struggle fight through them the feelings of rejection, rejection, but people telling you you're wrong, people telling you something's not going to work out. Those energies that you identify with sometimes within yourself as if you don't have control over who you are. As if you can't program your mind into making things work for you. As if you don't believe that you're favored, you're loved, you're fortunate and all that you desire you manifest. So, let's see, let's move forward. Your second card in today's love reading is Five of Swords. Yeah, man, I'm feeling like someone wants you, maybe college or clever. And someone made a bad decision also um, with their words. Their words were sharp. They told lies. Someone told lies out of malicious feelings, and now they regret it. Okay four of swords is next exactly someone was saying what it is that they don't mean five of swords four of swords and they were saying it to their love they were lying to themselves also so, so let's see what this is about yeah fear someone may have been giving into fear okay vanity illusions someone decided to give up on what is true because they didn't they refuse to believe in it you refuse to believe in what is yours so this is your birthright. You know what I'm saying? Like this is your inheritance. This is your creation. You own this. But it's the energy of someone not being grateful, not seeing the relations between what they've been manifesting and their manifestation. So just not claiming it, not appreciating it, not admiring it. Because you may have felt separate from those feelings of self-worth within yourself. That even though this thing is yours, you were like, no, 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 it's not mine. It's not mine. And it was like, yes, I am. I'm yours. And you're like, this is this. I don't know what you were thinking, but you were just not feeling like your best self. Gratitude and abundance. You were just not feeling like who you were normally. But these things are yours. Bittersweet and gossip. 
you may have interacted with enemies envious ones a disturbing energy within yourself that you needed to come to some deep seated wisdom with yourself so maybe you're doing more work spiritual work meditation working on your confidence because something really affected you threw you off in some way yeah this could be something mystical right wow you went through some things rejection so when you manifested you dis you disowned or disclaimed what was yours you let it go your mind may have been affected in some way shape or form mentally how you just were thinking and feeling um but so let's see about this if it will come back so try being more grateful spending more time meditating on your core your root chakra Work on your root chakra. What is it called? Mulahadra? I'm sorry, I don't know. Work on your root chakra, beautiful souls, all right? Please. Okay? All right. Impartiality. Yeah, work on your root chakra more. So that it's going to help you to release what's not true. Those parasites and pests. And negative thoughts and feelings surrounding your manifestations because all that you create is yours but you've been leaving your creations out there not claiming them they're just floating out there and you seem to be in pain like you just seem to be this in pain or disturbed or something whatever is going on with you like you're going through a spiritual fight some type of disturbance it's like someone have delivering a baby for a long 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 time this is a long delivery period so it's a long pain of the long period of labor. And it's like painful, you know, because I'm watching someone writhing on the floor in this open space, just an empty space. <clears throat> While all of your manifestations are over your head or they are surrounding you. And there's, it's like you think her own manifestations, which are a lot of wealth, health, prosperity, love, beautiful things. You think they're haunting you. You think it's a nightmare. That's how painful I'm seeing someone feel right now. And you're like, no, they're not mine. They're not mine. I don't know why. It's so, it's so weird. Like maybe you're not enjoying the fruits of your labor for some reason. You're pushing them away from you. You're refusing good things. You're setting yourself back. Like you're hoping for something. I don't know. For some type of answer that will <sighs> calm you down. I don't know what you're waiting for. Um, Salvation. Something. I don't know. Democrats. A baby. Forgiveness. Gratitude. There's something that you need to do, something, some truth that you need to face, how you feel. Allow love, accept love in your heart's peace, peace, it is real. Peace as well, do things that's peaceful. You may not be present often. You're distracted by a lover in some way that is taking a lot of your time, distracting you. Right, you need to find peace and trust and find a source in that compatible some someone compatible for you, something that can make you relax, working on yourself, self discovery, releasing old habits, change you need some type of a change. The things that you've been asking for they manifest around you, but I feel like there's something sinister, crazy in essence that seems to be um around like it's disturbing you or something you're not feeling happy for real you're happy you know but you're not feeling like your light happy self for some reason forgiveness pray to the most high mysticism tap into your do some spiritual work but maybe not so much growth maybe do different things i don't know work collaborate with people destiny you're gonna see a change Okay, that's going to pull you outside of your sh shell. You may start going out more to seeing how more people interact with each other. Just sitting and watching. Um, and not feeling, not feeling anxious, but feeling present. Right? You need to heal. You need to be in healing spaces uh, where you feel appreciated, warmth, love, welcome. You need to foster those feelings within yourself. These are important. Your feelings of 
manifestation and prosperity depend upon your feelings of groundedness, foundation and stability. These are important things that you should invest in even financially. Invest in yourself. Get a puppy. Talk to someone. Love something. Create something. Do something. Open up for something. You are here. You are ready. All right. So you need positive self-talk and enforcement. You need to see more free-spirited people loving, laughing, living, trusting, going with the flow. Because maybe you've been closed off. All right. <laughs> I think that's what's up. Uh, excuse my voice, guys. I've been standing in the rain. I was standing in the rain. So, strength card. Yeah, you shall overcome. You're manifesting. You're attracting a king of cups energy. A beautiful soul. A loving connection moving toward you. All right, healing and love to a person that they look at you beautifully. All right, we have the nine of swords next in your love. Oh my gosh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Let's see, this is the nine of swords, five of swords, four of swords. I know someone is thinking about you a lot. Like, heavenly, I'm feeling like. Whoa, the tower card. The tower card, someone is, mis this is misery. Someone did not want this to happen. It was not a part of their plans. Okay, for real, like to be separate from you or to be feeling miserable without you, no. Someone thought they had it all figured out all together. All right, someone is saying they are getting what? Their portion, you know, they're getting what is justice. That they, they are receive, laying in the bed that they made is the energy grief. So they're trying to accept the grief and learn the lesson and move forward. But this person, they want to grow with you. Okay, Cancer. The sun, yeah. The sun card is saying, yes. This person, they, they're going to come around to say something to you. They want to speak to you. They may have been sending family members to come talk with you. Yeah, the sun is going to come out and you're going to be right about something. You're going to be right that someone thought you had low self-esteem and they were trying to use that against you or take you for granted. So you were right about that. And this person, they're coming to realize that too. This could be a parent, a mother, a father figure. So they, they have some type of a confession. But you've already been moving forward, becoming aware of yourself, leveling up, living, loving, laughing. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That energy that I wanted you to be in earlier, just loving, laughing, trusting the flow, feeling a part of the universe that is your earning, your creation, your manifestation, your divine pathway. Okay, so enjoy your creations. Don't painfully keep yourself from them. And because you are good at creating, whatever you create tastes good, feels good. It's naturally something to, it's remarkable. So enjoy your own remarkable manif manifestation, remarkable manifestations for real. The universe is asking you to some of you, you need to be getting some money from someone and the judges, the lawyers, the state, the laws are asking you to claim what is yours. You know, yeah, don't give up. It is yours. Know your worth. Okay. Because someone, I hear independent, someone, like I was saying earlier, they took advantage of your kindness. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, look. <clears throat> I feel like you are pretty. You're so beautiful. You could be a free spirit. You've healed. Great things are happening for you. All right, keep certain things a secret as well. I think people love you so very much. People see you and love you. That sun card and that ace of cups is our yes to you. I cheers to you, um, to to who you are, to your highness, your majesty. For some reason, it's like cheers to you from a stranger. It's like you're you're having lunch somewhere and someone from across the room you didn't know was watching your energy, sends you flowers or a drink to your table, and they hold a glass up to say, "Just cheers to you." Yes. Because I think you're pretty. Someone is thinking that you are pretty. I was about to say that earlier, you know. Yeah. 
So if someone is thinking you're, you're pretty, you're nice, you're jubilant, you're abundant, someone thinks you're graceful, you're so kind and giving, right? Your energy is so glowing and it's just powerfully rich and potent. Look, look, this is what I, I'm imagining. I'm imagining you just sitting around the table at a bar, a coffee shop or something, and you're just giving, you're just giving like this. And you don't know that this is the vibrant energy that you walk in, you know. Everyone else can see it. You walk like it's a new day. It's a new time. You're bringing in the future. You're bringing in a new generation, a new style. Because you just keep redeeming yourself everywhere you go. And then all of your energies, you know. And then this person from across the way sees your vibe. And they recognize something like that within you. Like you're so real. You're one of a kind. You're an angel. It's like that. All right. You may be very fertile right now. Right? Um, a lot of money is about to be revealed into your life. Something that you've been waiting for. It's going to manifest, actualize. Yeah, I hear your premonition. So you're going to be so rich and feeling so grateful. You may turn up winning the lotto. You may build a house. Yeah, so much gratitude. So give thanks for yourself where you are and someone just wanting to come and give you that energy of love in your life. They think you're lovely, isn't she? Perfect, wonderful, graceful, abundant, rich. You know, it's that's your vibration. The king of pentacles. Sorry, that's the knight. If someone is coming in with an offer, this, like I said, I think you're making a lot of money. A lot of money released into your life. Um, I hear will, willpower. I hear Capricorn. Yeah. Insecurities in the reverse. Someone who has, someone wants to be there for you. Foundation, stability, supportive. Someone is there for you. All right. This person could be remaining low key from the heart, from the start, from the jump. This person has always somehow been around like a fox, eagle, falcon, possibly. Look. Could be a Gemini. Fate. Yes, yeah, so this is what we have for your love messages today. All is well, all is within you, beautiful soul. Take it easy out there. And like an offer, health, wealth, a proposal, someone watching you, thinking about you constantly. Someone wanting to move in, speak with you. They have this, <coughs> excuse me, they have this offer of like divine, genuine love. They see you as real, true love in their life. They want to speak with you. They have so much to offer you. This person, they may have been from your past, 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 or they just feel like, They've, they know you from like lifetimes ago. They feel real like you are their soulmate. Sun card, Ace of Cups, and the Twin Flames, and the Ace of Diamonds. This is earth and water. This is such a real union, a divine offer. And this person is watching you. They're glowing. They're glowing up. You may be sun shining on their energy. All right? They sunshine on yours. I don't know. <laughs> Something is... um. So beautiful. It's like I hear a raiment. It's like reading one of those some ethereal and majestic royal. Something something supreme. Something that like a, a shooting star. It just it's just one story in one a huge story in a little tiny moment that you only see once in a blue moon, once in a while and it goes by and it happens and then it, you just imagine just what that whole story was about. It's just like seeing many people are living their own many lives. It's just seeing a weird thing that you only capture once. Or seeing fairies, seeing a little tiny fairy world. And then you don't get to see it again after that. Or something like this. It's something incredible is the feeling of this love reading. And... um all the best and all is within you. Catch you in the next one. Much love. Toodles.